thing is, is this new yeah are you sure i yes i threw out the other one yesterday that's not possible Chuck. i swear to god you should count that i'm oh. going to there's no way wow <laughs> that's everything <laughs> maybe there's two more in here that's not 30 i got robbed it is 30 it's 30 yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh my ten. God. That's right, ten. That's right, one third. Uh, what happened this bit? Boy, you you requested fif fifteen days of probiotics only? No, thirty days. Take one a day. Oh, one a day. Oh, it's monthly. Why did you put in this big box? Because it did the bottle. job. It sold. <laughs> I mean, but I know how More much is. Less pills. We gotta make a fortune. <laughs> but I know how much is in here. It's not like I didn't know. Psychological. Because you look you're very disappointed. From <laughs> you actually got 30 pills and you're mad. You Do you see this? This big ass bottle and this idiot. I mean, it's 30. Does that look like 30? Screenshot it and count. It looks bigger on camera. It's That's crazy. Anyways, taking my probiotics and my iron. And you have to take iron with vitamin C so it dissolves properly. Absorbs. That, not dissolves, <laughs> absorbs, 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 oh my God. So it absorbs better in your system. So I can't do live stuff. I need edits. <laughs> if only people knew. At least you know your strengths and weaknesses. And English is a weakness. <laughs> okay, vitamin C, so it absorbs in your system. And yeah, or you can get the vitamin C with iron. I see my sister has that. Everything is linked down below, guys. Good morning. Welcome to a morning routine, productive morning routine. I wanted to take you guys with me throughout my typical mornings. I try to get this routine down packed literally every single day because I just feel like it just allows me to get shit done, period, point blank. And for me, as you guys saw, I don't have like an elaborate morning routine. I don't wake up at the crack of dawn. I'm not waking up at six. I'm not waking up at seven unless I have to. Typically, I like to wake up between eight and nine. And I feel like that allows me to not have to be in bed by like 10 p.m. Because that to me is just crazy. And then it also allows me to get my eight to nine hours of sleep in a day. Because I usually go to bed around, I would say like 11.30 p.m. latest midnight. So if I wake up at eight, nine, I'm good for the day and I can go to the gym around this time which is like 11 a.m. and that's when like the morning rush is gone and it's kind of a little bit quiet before the lunch evening rush picks in but as you guys saw I pretty much just like wake up in the morning with my alarm tip I want to give you guys when it comes to alarm that has ultimately like changed my waking up process is not to put that loud ass annoying ass apple sound on for the alarm you know the one that i'll put the sound effect here now because i'm probably gonna butcher it if i try to like mimic it 
But to me, waking up to something that is so annoying and loud is just like disrupting the process of waking up and just starting off my morning on like a type of thing and where I want to wake up to like ease, you know, tranquility type of vibe. So that's why I have that alarm on my phone and I feel like it's just more soothing for waking up. Then after that, when I wake up in the morning, I don't like wash my face with actual cleanser and stuff because to me it doesn't make any sense to wash my face, go to the gym, sweat, come home, wash my face again two hours later. So I'll just like wash my face with water as you guys saw. And I did put on a little bit of makeup because I am recording and I like to look good when I record. And I also like to look good when I go to the gym because I don't leave my house often. So the one time I consistently leave my house for is the gym, so why not look cute? Look cute, lift better, right? Do all that and then my breakfast is usually the same thing. I just like it and so I stick to it. It's either oatmeal as you guys saw me have. Lately I've been liking cream of wheat and I also make my protein pancakes. I am out of breath. Wow. I like my protein pancakes as well. And I just try to get protein in every single morning for breakfast. So usually 30 grams, and I recommend this to even my clients, try to get 30 grams in minimum per meal, because then that would just allow you to get literally 90 grams of protein from your three meals. And then you can just get more in by adding more protein, having your protein shake, your protein snacks, all of that. But at least getting 90 grams of Protein a day is like a really good start, right? So have my vitamins, told you guys all about that. I also do take vitamin D, but I'm gonna have that a little bit later so that I don't mix it with my iron because my sister told me not to take iron with vitamin D. So I'm gonna listen to her and I'm not gonna do that. And yeah, ready to go to the gym right now. I have in my jug my water and my creatine. Everything that I've used and you guys see this video will, will be left linked down below because I do purchase 90% of my stuff from Amazon. I'll leave like the Canadian link as well as the American link because I do know that I have people who watch me from America and Canada. And I know I hate when I watch YouTubers or like content creators be like, oh, I got this on Amazon, here's the link. And I click the link and it's an American. And I'm just like, okay, is there a Canadian version? So if I can find it, I'll give you guys both versions. If I can't find it, sorry. It is what it is. But gym fit of the day, I have the Whitney, I gotta cut this string, but I have the Whitney Simmons Gymshark leggings. This is her latest drop from Gymshark. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is not my favorite at all. And then my sports bra is from Amazon, so it will be left linked down below. Perfume I'm wearing for the day is my Mugler Alien, I think it's called. That's another thing, when it comes to looking good, it's also smelling good too, because I like to smell good everywhere I go. Also, last thing, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I've been using these broken ass headphones at the gym for like, <laughs> my headphones have been broken from since I went to Miami. That was in November. We're going into April next week. So for a good, I would say like what, six months, my headphones have been broken. And I got those headphones at Walmart, so obviously they're not going to be the most sustainable, like long lasting quality headphones. But they did the job. Like, it did what it had to do for a good year. I paid, like, what, 50 bucks for the headphones, so I cannot complain. And eventually what happened was this part here of the headphones broke off on both sides. So I'll show you guys later, but it literally was, like, poking out. It looked disgusting. And then because of that, the part that puts, like, around your ear was not able to actually stay on my ear. It would constantly keep falling, flipping everything. So whenever I would do exercises where I have to, like, bend over like an RDL, the headphones would literally fall off of my head onto the floor and it was so frustrating. So then I was like, okay, can't use this anymore. What can I use? I have my AirPods. I put my AirPods in and I can't even get through my entire workout. I don't know if you can relate without my head hurting me. Like the radiation from the Bluetooth in the AirPods are so strong to me that it's just, it makes me like literally take one AirPod out, put it in my pocket and just have one in so it can kind of like reduce the like the headache that I'm getting and then I just keep alternating and I got to a point I'm like girl you can't keep doing this like this is just ridiculous and you need to get headphones like you need it at this point so I went on Amazon and the same brand that I had for my previous headphones which is Soundcord I got this at Walmart but this one I got on Amazon I saw that they had a better quality version of it so I was like ooh, okay and then the blue color nice and it had a $25 coupon so I literally paid it was 80 something dollars came out to like 60 
55 60 dollars so i'm like bet get it because i cannot bring myself to spend $800 on AirPod Max. That to me is just crazy. And then I saw like the Beats and Sonys, which are really good as well, but they were like two, $300. And I'm like, I know next week I'm gonna have to get my hair done. I'm gonna have to get waxed. I'm gonna have to get my nails done. I'm gonna have to get like my prep done for vacation. So I'd rather spend the $200 on my hair, because my hair will cost me over $200, than on headphones. Priorities. So anyways, we're gonna go to the gym, we're gonna do a quad leg day from the New Body app, and yeah, I'll see you guys at the gym. mid-afternoon at this point it's 2 30 ish 2 25 so morning routine done basically um i try to get my workouts in as i said between like 11 10 a.m 10 a.m to 12 because when i was leaving the gym around 12 30 that's when the lunch rush was picking in picking in picking up so a perfect time to leave and my workout was literally just an hour long so sometimes you don't have to like break your back trying to get all these different exercises in if you just do like four really good exercises pushing yourself to failure four sets you can literally get in and out within an hour and that's if you're not doing like cardio or stretching because i didn't stretch but my lunch is this extra lean ground beef pasta and i put some turkey bacon in here i put two strips so this should be like a good 40 grams of protein if not a bit more and that's because i usually have turkey bacon in the morning but i didn't feel for it so i'm having it now that's what I usually do if I don't have turkey bacon in the morning. When I'm going to do that, I'm going to edit some things and then just go through like my client's program, make sure they're on, to, like, on track of what they're supposed to be doing. Because some of them have been slacking and I've been seeing it. They're not logging in things that they have to log in and I have to literally like text them and be like, hello, hello, hello. So yeah, that's literally my morning routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you guys subscribe and you like the video. And you don't have to, little tidbit, but like you don't have to have this elaborative morning routine. I feel like now that's trending, like my 6 a.m. morning productive routine. I wake up, I journal, I have my matcha, I do my hum or meditation. I mean, I'm not trying to insult people who do that. If that works for you, by all means, cool. But don't think that's what you need to do to have a productive day. Like if that's not your thing, then don't do it. And you don't have to think that a morning routine is gonna make your day productive because I have productive days when i don't even have like my morning routine type of thing you know it's all mental like if you want to make your day productive mentally tell yourself to be productive and actually do what you have to do to be productive and your routine is not going to do anything really for you i think it's just like a psychological thing to make people feel good and for the aesthetics of social media i really think a big part is the aesthetics of social media so yeah that's my little tidbit just do what works for you wake up with time works for you and whatever kind of gets you into the swing of things and makes you get what you have to get done done then do it like if you have to 
write out your to-do list the night before do it if you have to do it the day of do it if you have to be like a week in advance know what you're doing or month whatever works for you trial and error you'll figure out what works for you and just do it basically i'm done rambling i'm gonna eat my food watch real housewives potomac the season finale and yeah i'll see you guys oh let's talk about that because i was thinking about it last night so for content this is going out on april 30 april 31st april march 31st so this sunday and then i'm gonna release another vlog like a weekly vlog vacation prep the week of the 7th to the 11th i don't know what day it's gonna go out most probably the 10th or 11th just so i can get all the days of the week for the vlog edited and you know recorded because i leave on friday the 14th i'm not posting anything i'll be on vacation and then the 21st i'll post my vacation vlog and then the 28th of april i'll post like getting back into the swing of things routine my Nicki minaj concert recap I'm excited for that and then we'll get back to the sundays type of routine so 14th no vlog no videos but every other sunday after that other than the seventh so basically like two weeks will be a little bit off but anyways irrelevant for now thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next week yeah um no i'll see you next week sometime yeah bye